All right, howdy folks. We are here for a, another M19 corset draft. And what have we got here? Uh, so there's a few cards that are not bad. There's Strangling Spores, which is pretty good. Bell Spectre, and it's a fine card. Bone Ash, which is a fine card. I think my favorite of all of these is just Strangling Spores. Removal's good. Um, I, th I think blue is my least favorite color in this set. So yeah, I think I'll go with these Strangling Spores. I'm not sure blue's really my least favorite. I, I like blue-green a good amount. Alright, I like uh, Vigilant Bailoth. So I think Vigilant Bailoth is, by a decent margin, the best card in this pack. I think he's definitely better than the Dreadmaw. Um, and then the next cards would be like Gallant Calvary or something. But I'm happy to take a Vigilant Bailoth here and see how it goes. Alright, uh, I think this is a pretty clear Rabid Bite. So we'll be taking him. We got now. Pretty weak pack, I would say. May just take a dwindle in case we go green blue or something. Because I don't really see much else. Um, it's uncommon's okay, but obviously we're a little bit away from that color combination. Alright, and. Now we've got a choice between the Dreadmaw and the Boar. I, I kind of like the Boar better than the Dreadmaw. That's been my experience so far. Dreadmaw is good, but Boar can, I don't know, just feel like a little bit better for curve purposes. All right, and I think we just keep picking green cards here. Um, Giant Spider's a fine one. Decent red cards here, nothing amazing. But we're gonna jump into another color for Giant Spider. Can do a little bit of work. All right, I think pretty close. The only decent card here is Totally Lost, so I'll take Totally Lost. Not a great card, but it can do the trick. And. Yeah, I think here is pretty clear Rocks Oracle. Decent 5 drop for the green decks. Don't really want a second totally lost uh, Plummet. I, I found sometimes you can main deck a Plummet and it's not so bad. Not a big fan of any of these cards. Inspired Charge really only playable one. We're pretty far off from actually doing that. I guess I'll take a Disperse here. I don't think it's too likely I play an Epicure of Blood. Not a big fan of Disperse in general, but sometimes you can make it work. All right, I'll take this dual land just in case. All right, uh, yeah, two-headed zombies, all right. So pretty medium start to the draft. And then pretty medium pack we're looking at here. Nothing really exciting in any color. Um, I think I'll just take a Reclamation Sage. He's all right. He can do the trick. Really want a second one. Definitely more interested in this Basilisk here, so I think it's a pretty easy Basilisk. Basilisk makes all of your Rabid Bites better in the future. So he's got that going for it. There are a couple decent blue cards here too we could consider taking now that I think about it. Um, So we could just like take an Essence Scatter, but I don't know, I like Basilisk and it keeps us a little bit open. I think Basilisk is a little bit worse than Essence Scatter, but I don't think it's insanely worse. Alright, this is a very good green uncommon, so I'll definitely take the Green Seeker. Wouldn't mind uh, the Rejuvenator probably, but happy to get a dry Green Seeker. All right, our four drop spots looking relatively, relatively packed. So I think this is a very good opportunity to pick up Mr. Dreadmaw here. So we'll be doing that. So there's another Dreadmaw. Could 
could take another dread maw. Um, I think I will. We do miss out on the hired blade, who is fine, but he's nothing that amazing. Uh, we've we've pretty much got our high end now, as there's yet another dread maw. Um, I think here though we just take a snapping drake. Gonna push us more in the green blue direction. Child of Night is just pretty much whatever. Uh, but I like Snapping Drake. Okay, I found this guy to be acceptable. Three mana, three twos are okay in this format. He's three power for Rabbit Bite, and the ability is more relevant than, than you would think. Alright, here I think is a pretty easy Centaur Courser. Nothing really, we'll really want to play here. It's possible we wound up we wind up green black and just need a random filler two drop. We're not gonna be both blue and black, so I'm not too tempted by Boneyard, but Twindle is not bad. So our blue is looking okay. I'll take Child of Night. Take mine out. I don't really want the serpent. We already got two Dreadmaws. Where did that Duress go? Where did that Duress sneak off to? I know it's hiding there somewhere. There it is. All right, and we'll take a Swamp. Okay. So there's a third Dwindle if we want it, which we don't. I think another Courser is okay here. Could take the Dual Land, but not planning on Lashing, I don't think so. I think I'm happy just take Courser. I like Courser better than a Sky Scanner. That rare is not really a thing. Don't really need a th another Dread Maw, especially since we have no ramp. So I think it's probably just a Snapping Drake. Don't think we need another Basilisk. Our three drop slots looking pretty decent. So let's just go ahead and get these black cards out of here. If we wound up with enough fixing, we could consider playing the um, Strangling's Force. So that's what we'll keep an eye out for. So I'm just gonna do some housekeeping here and get our cards organized correctly. Get out of here, Child of Night. We're 21 playables. Um, I think this is an easy rabbit bite. I actually didn't see it at first. Maybe we'll get that green black one, green black line back, and then we can play that. Uh, nice white card, but not for us. But we, we might, I think we just kind of need a, a two drop here. It's nothing exciting, but I think that he's our man. He's the man for the hour. Well, there's another Strangling Spores if we were going to splash that. But we're probably not. Probably just more interested in a combat trick here in the form of Titanic Growth. So I think we'll take that. Oh, it's two-headed zombie still in there. I didn't notice him. Yeah, I think with two Rabbit Bites, another Basilisk is all right. I don't think we need the Thornhide Wolves. Didn't I take this two-headed zombie out like 15 times? All right, three Basilisks is pushing it though. But we'll get to deck building and sort those things out, so nothing really here. Oh, there's a green-blue land, I guess. Might as well take it. Probably the green-black land now? No. All right, only card we'll potentially play. Oh, there's a green black land. But I don't think we're gonna go that route, so I think I'll just have access to the Sentinel. I think Sentinel's better than Highland Game. It's all doggy. Alright, so I gotta make a few cuts. I think one Basilisk is coming out. I think three is just too much. Um, I think I prefer a gear per guide to it. Just, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, 
That's list, you know, not the best on offense. The gear per guide ability does come up every now and then. Uh, so we can cut a disperse, a plummet, a highland game. Those are looking like the cuts I want to make. Any objections? Any objections? No, I think it's it. Um, Yeah, I mean, so this deck's pretty average. It's got some things going for it. Uh, we actually have win conditions on, like, some other decks we've drafted recently. Um, I mean, we're not really playing too many bad cards. Like, we probably our worst card's like a C- minus or something like Titanic Growth. Um, I think Reclamation Sage worth playing. So let's go ahead and get into the game, see if we can actually win something. like a fine hand, a fun exciting. We'll trade here if he attacks. Um, big reason to do that is because if he attacks, it's an indication. Okay, well, he did this first. Now if he attacks, I'll just Attack him back, I guess. Presumably he's going to block, which is fine. And just pull off the cancel. He's certainly drawing a lot of cards. And we're not really punishing him for the tempo. Alright, well at least we drew a creature. Very good chance we're going to be. Okay, I was going to say, very good chance we're walking into a, a counter spell here given the way he's played, but that's what he's using his mana for. So we'll just play Dread Maw and pass here. Control is annoying. So I could just set it up kind of like Moto. All right. We found two cards in hand and Somewhat even on board. He's got 15 more life than us, which is a thing. Alright, Vigilant Bayloth into Rabid Bite seems like a reasonable play here. Or do we just wait? Maybe there's no big reason to 
rabbit bite right now since we've got the three four under control and we'll probably have managed to do that in the future turn he could play some giant bog stomper or something I'm gonna dwindle that guy don't see a reason not to catch this guy in for three life now Do something about his blood marcher, blood letter at some point. Ugh. I guess. The only problem is it doesn't. <laughs> That's the main problem. So I guess what we have to do is just totally lost his vampire sovereign when he attacks. Or when he plays the mirror image. Even that, though, is not that good. Because he just kills us next turn, because we're going to go to four, and then he's going to mirror image the blood letter. And. We'll go to three, and then he'll play the sky. the. Vampire Sovereign and kill us. Oh, sure. Cool, we are dead. See if we can actually pick up a win here. Looks like a fine hand. Are here. I think this next turn is just going to be playing Courser after we attack. Be nice to draw land, but at least we have a few plays in the meantime. So we're. Oh, I'm just.
All right. Um, so he gets to double block. But I guess it's okay, because it lets us keep attacking on future turns. And he may be afraid of the trick. He's not. This is just the price of immortality. And I'm going to play dagger back Basilisk here. Place some fat fiber up, we can rabbit bite. Alright, I'll take a dwindle too. Just get in for three, and then we get to play our land and get Bailoff down next turn, which would be nice. Sky Spirit. That's actually a pretty decent draw. So we'll go ahead and kill the 4 2. As soon as we draw a land, totally lost, so it'll help clear the way for more beats. Um, so we could have considered like just attacking there. Oh, looks like he's interested in... Uh, I guess I should have played my land first, though it's not like he can pump his guy, so... He hasn't particularly been playing like he's got a counterspell. Which kind of makes me just want to run out the Bayloth. Hard to say. Yeah, I'm going to run out the Bayloth. So for this, oh, he's got the counterspell. Best to just get out my snapping drake here. We can totally lost his guy in a future turn. Don't think he's attacking. Never mind. Well, he's just dead now because we get to put his Dreadmaw on top and hit him twice. So that will be the game. Doesn't really matter what else we do. It is deterministic. Assume he'll block. Yeah. How sweet it is.
double hand. It does things. Not like great things, but it does it does corset things, let's put it that way. Looks like our friend's got an instant. Think anything relevant. What instant could it even be? So Titanic growth, I guess. Titanic growth or maybe that spell that like Great plus two plus O and comes back from the dead. So let's keep bringing the pain here. Probably worth attacking with Corsair, Rabid Biting, and then playing uh, the other two, too. I wish we had better, but we don't. things. Uh, yeah, he's fairly sure he's got titanic growth in his hand. If we draw land, we can even act, play gear for guide and activate it. I don't think I'd prefer not draw land. Alright, that's a card we can attack into. Uh, if he wants to eat one of these guys, he's going to take a fair amount of damage. So I think we can just bash with everything here. And I guess we'll just play this out. He's playing black, so... got. I'm just going to bash with the team. That's what I thought. Alright, two and one. SJBB. Going first with this hand. We do have both colors of mana, but we need to draw lands. We need to draw two lands, preferably in the first three draw steps. I think it's probably better in a six. It's because most, you know, modal number of lands you'll have in a six card hand is two. So, good rule of thumb for mulliganing is if you can remove the worst card from your hand and you keep that six pretty happily, then keep your seven. Oops, I did not want to activate him. 
big boar. Big, big boar. And yes, hence developing just fine. Hopefully he's just got a dude rather than removal spell. Let's see. I'm not sure what this is. I guess a murder would make sense. Does or cancel? But I think we're still doing decent. He did have to two for one himself to give her that bailoth. So there is that. I feel like we just totally lost his guy here again. for one value. And then I don't think we have to rabbit bite. I guess it would stop him from playing his demon. Alright, I sold myself. If we attack into that, is he going to block? I think it's risky. I mean, the thing is, we do have Dwindle for his demon. And it lets our Vigilance guy actually sort of be a card. Sage and kill Fountain. Again, we could just shut off his demon here. If he plays like another creature, it could get kind of annoying. Because we still do have the dwindle for the demon if that comes up. Do it. All right, dwindling our two one. All right, it's a good draw. 
Got some scatter lurking in his hand. Two two instead of a two one. He's gonna need something sweet. I don't even know what instants and sorceries we can get out of our deck. None. Oh, he's got a Titanic growth. Nice. Be the game. Three and one. Platinum tier four. Danerson. I feel like I remember him from Moto. Going first. Yeah, I think similar logic to last time. We're going to keep this one. Even though it's a bit of a gamble. But, got a couple three drops. Alright, so now the hand's just fine. I'll get down the gear for guy just because both of them attack adequately into the omen speaker. And this guy hits for more damage if he connects. Oh. And we'll just play down the spider plays anything big next turn, then we get to Basilisk plus Rabbit Bite it. I guess we just play Basilisk here and don't do anything. I guess we could alternatively activate this and hit him for 3, go down to 14. But I think I'd rather have my Basilisk on board. Yeah, I don't think we need to shoot anything. I think Rabbit Bite will be good at some point. Presumably he's missing a color, but it could be mono blue, I guess. Ugh, let's, can we draw a Reclamation Sage? I think attacking with Basilisk makes sense here. It's going to trade with at least two things, and the Colossal Dread Maws will be adequate Rabbit Bite fodder. Patient rebuilding. He draws a card. Is he just mono blue? Do what we can to keep up the pressure. Can't play around counter spells or anything like that. So, let's just hope Dreadmaw makes it. Looks like he's not.
rabid bite that guy. Both in case he's planning on chump blocking. I assume, given all the cards he's drawing, he must be mono blue. Anything else seems fairly unlikely. So we have seven mana. Just not really any good options. Cards in the deck. If we can activate Gear Per Guide on Gear Per Guide plus Courser and then get in for just three, it's not that exciting. his pioneer into a 2-4. Oh, that makes sense too. Yeah, that card sure is a pain in the ass, isn't it? Toast. Three and two. Combo. Again, and put one on bottom. Basilisk. I think it's okay to trade here. Let's play gear for good. Got a counter spell with one to ash, sure. Well, at least we have the answer this time. I do hate that card. Huh?
so sort of the answer for that. Oh, well, I mean, we're gonna have to attack at some point. So I'm not that worried. This guy's got quite the deck, Bone Dragon and Patient Rebuilding. Some nice cards. He'll be able to dwindle, block with his guy, and it gets destroyed at some point. That's why we have Rabid by Dagger back, Basilisk. Next turn, probably just playing the boar. to do, but Rabbit Bite is... Uh, already at six cards in yard. But, I mean, we are going to have to attack at some point, so... Just gonna have to find a way to deal with the... few ways. just to get a creature in his yard. I'm gonna play the boar. Unlikely you play something that can block it, plus is able to bring back, or plus able to leave up bone dash. Eh, it's not that hard. spider here. This does let him bone ash and then that gives him the ammunition he needs for his bone dragon. But I think just sitting around waiting is not going to help us. It's 100% going to do it. What he's thinking about? Surely he's just gonna. Oh, maybe he's just activating Bone Dragon right now for some reason. I'd let us rabbit bite it right away if we draw it. Or dwindle it. I wouldn't say we're just losing right now. It's a fell specter.
getting in. I just made not planning on blocking. I don't think I will. Attack with these two guys. I think. Trade a surge mirror for basilisk. Oh, I'm gonna trade that. If he attacks with surge mirror, that's probably a act of desperation. So this will trade. Since our snapping drake ain't gonna ain't gonna get through the dragon anyway. We're happy if he does. Not sure there's anything that would change our combat step here, but. Beat a couple bomb rares. Well, not, not yet necessarily. I think we're a favorite. All right, got him. So we're at four and two now. So hey, we're gonna have a winning record. How about that? It's like everyone always has patient rebuilding. Right? All right. Sorry, I got my video playing in the background there. Um, yeah, it looks like a keep to me. Unexciting, but fine hand. Got the motivator coming down. We've not really played against a uh, super aggressive deck yet with our blue green pile. We haven't drawn our green seeker. We have that card in our deck, right? Can we draw that this turn, please? Thank you. Turns look pretty scripted. Let's just hope it holds. Let's 
good night. Let's get this for three, but at least we're not getting totally owned. That's interesting. Play that, and uh, we could have played Snapping Drake, obviously, but kind of think we want to go for the Titanic Growth play here. Reason being, if he wants to go for the attack. Something like an electrify. Lightning strike. All right. So we get to get him pretty good. Yeah, maybe do that before. And I guess we want to take out the. 4 2 just preserve life total. I guess on the, yeah, I think the 4 2 is the right choice. Five, five. So he's got what white? No, no, never mind. Reading too much into his pausing, he's got motivator, so that's gonna give him a priority pass. to get in with his Angel of the Dawn. Or no, yeah, get in with his Angel of the Dawn for four, put us to five. I don't want to risk him being able to kill Snapping Drake and getting us down to two. Even though Snapping Drake could trade off for that Angel. Alright, looks like we're in okay shape here. I guess he can start double striking his knight at some point. So lucky. All right, I think we're okay just attacking with both of our guys. Yeah. And we get to get him with totally lost if he wants to go for a double block, which I think he will. Do we want to 
actually cast Dwindle or do we just want to leave up Totally Lost? I think we want to leave up Totally Lost. I think it's the trickier play. to totally lost plus dwindle next turn, so. on top of his deck. And I think we'll dwindle the Valiant Knight. Has he got a card? Bad shape for sure. This will dwindle the double striker. I guess we're not dead. We'll have to chump lock the 4 2. Sure, what really our out is here. It's not that. Uh, is it? Go three. Yeah, that's not gonna be quite enough. So it's three power with these guys out. All right, we lose. So four and three on that one. GG. Sweet prizes are. Prize. Hey, a cleansing. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.